We're back with Bill and Susan Hayes from Days of Our Lives talking about their very own soap opera they created with their soap opera workshop. What was the name of the show you did? It's called Airborne. Airborne. And what we did was we had a story with various plots in it. And we said, okay, this is the point in the story where you are, and you have to write the script that tells this point in these various plots. And that's what they did. It's wonderful. So the people that wrote it also acted in it? Yes, and composed our own music and yes. uh, wow. so on and so forth. Yeah, they really did the whole thing. And we used the facilities of Columbia, Co Columbia School of Broadcasting to tape it. In Hollywood. in Hollywood. So why don't we take a look at the okay. guys that are downstairs here or another school? No, uh, not here. I think not here. Uh, okay, because they've got a Columbia School of Broadcasting down here. Uh, <laughs> I know it doesn't mean anything right now on this <laughs> show. I don't even know what they think. A great t shirt. <laughs> but we have a clip uh, from Airborne, and who are the stars that we're going to see? We'll let's see. see. I don't the know. clip is news to us, see. too, honey. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's look at it. Who chose who got to be the stars and who got to be the extras? Oh, we didn't do that one. We had. <laughs> see, as I said, we had um, people come in and either talk about their specialty or show them. And we had Jack Herzberg, who uh, has been a producer of soaps for 16, 18 years, came in and showed them how he would cast it. So he read all the various people. He read people everybody and, and then gave them an evaluation of what they had done or hadn't done. Everybody a critique and said, here's and said, why well, I would You're the best actor, but you're too it. tall. And so... Ah. <laughs> well, that's not our so. thing. He did a better job than we could have uh -huh. and quicker and knew what to do. And we weren't for. to blame. We <laughs> off the hook. You stayed the nice guys. <laughs> yes. you know, they'll stay Days of Our Lives fans, all those people. Now, will there be another continuation of this or it depends another on our workshop? Energy, doesn't it? Yes. Uh, if so, it'll be n probably next year because we did... We, we, it took a lot of preparation time. As I said, there were about 25 hours of class um, we presumed on the time for no money of a lot of our friends, brought them in and used them, and it's, we shouldn't really do that right away again. <laughs> yeah, you know, push a good yeah, thing Yeah, we didn't have enough there. budget left over to send everybody a box of soap, which we had at least planned to do. <laughs> There's no <laughs> parting <laughs> gift. So maybe There's next no year we do it again, and we'll do in the next episode. Uh, <laughs> so where did it, like, end up? I mean, is it a cliffhanger there? Sure. Sure, at the end well, of honey, it. Well, honey, life is a cliffhanger. That's right. Watch <laughs> the whole thing. Look at this set. I know. Talk that's, about cliffhanger. That's reality out yes. there. Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. Here they With come sirens, now. Uh, <laughs> taking us away. No, that's sound effects, right? <laughs> it's all done in post-production. <laughs> I see. Did you have any potential stars in there? Did you, they might well, end we up had, working opposite. We had some real good Talented actors. Talented people. We said, anybody who wants to write a script may write it. We had 11 people write a script, and several of them showed good talent. Um, we had, uh, as Susan mentioned, somebody did the music for it. Steve Reinhardt wrote yeah, the music. heard that. It sounded good. He is a wonderful composer. Mm. Cracker Jack. Yes. Um, well, I would say that there was uh, good talent in the actors that we, that we had. I bet you that some of them had good jobs from it. Yeah. 
But the, the music, I noticed, was real good. It is. Thanks. Yeah, real nice. You wrote a good theme. Yeah. We have time you even after have a, to play the whole thing. And you even have a theme song for it? Oh, oh yes. yes. You wrote we a beautiful a theme. theme. We didn't have our own flats. We borrowed flats from Days of Our Lives, which I flats, discovered. Which the, the, the back walls, yeah. walls and things. And the Horton family sofa was very prominent in this particular <laughs> was episode. Was that what we used? The Horton family sofa and somebody's Mr. Coffee machine. Which we finally, <laughs> it was so much more prominent than the actors due to the poor lighting that we had to deep six the Mr. Coffee. But uh, <laughs> I noticed on the edge of all the, all the things that we'd taken from Days of Our Lives, there was a sign going down the sides of all that said Days of Our Lives. So finally, after a couple of takes, we <laughs> got some gray tape and covered it up with electric <laughs> tape. So there's a kind of gray stripes running up the walls. But it was good for the School of Broadcasting also because they have students there who had a whole long Saturday to practice. We had students working the cameras and students working and our the... Our director was school. Wes Kenny, who's the producer of uh, Young, Young and Restless. And Restless now, who is was, wonderful. Who was just and what a learning day for them fantastic. to work a day with him. The first yeah. thing they learned at Columbia School of Broadcasting is it takes more than six lights to light almost anything. However, that's the way their studio was set up. So we wound up moving the set around to the lights, which is I not the normal procedure. We've we've got, we got lots here. We got, oh, we, a dozen. We've got the Maybe 14. <laughs> 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 now what about back in the real world on Days yes. of Our Lives? Yes. <laughs> Meanwhile. What do you want to know, honey? How, what, what's new with your characters? Where are they going? Involvement with our uh, teenage problems, I think. That's say. right. We have uh, my daughter is Hope. Doug's daughter is Hope. But she's hopeless as far as and we're having troubles <laughs> with the Hope character at the goes. Moment. A lot and, of trouble. And parents all over the country will relate to this. Got to tell you. This is the summer story. You always push your stories towards the juvenile market so during the summertime in order to capture audience. audience. They just started showing Days of Our uh, Lives in Italy? Yeah. Yes. And they redub your voices, I guess. I yes. hope so, or it probably yeah, won't or go. nobody understands. <laughs> That's what we hear, and I can't wait to get over there and see, hear, and hear us talking in Italian, mad Italian, and see if I gesture anymore. No, that that wouldn't be happening. Would Too it? late to fix it. No, they wouldn't be able to do that. No. <laughs> Have you gotten any mail from Italy? Not, Not yet, yet but no. we used to get mail from Iran. <laughs> it used well, to be on in Iran. Yeah. That's right. And I, from the institutions there, I mean the prisons. I, I used to wonder why we were attracting the criminal element until I realized that lots of Iranians went to jail in the good old days. Oh, gosh. So they were viewers, so what? Uh, they watch days. We do get a lot of mail from <laughs> Australia, where we have been. Right. Shown for many years. We're felons and non-felons alike. Enjoy the show. Can't <laughs> wait to get some in Italian. <laughs> <laughs> now, on the, on the show, you've been divorced, remarried, and you had your ups and downs. Yes. Yeah. In real life, I mean, in real so life, speak, it's all up, your, I mean. your marriage would, would never be a soap opera. You know, <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's too good. Yeah. Evidently. You're about the only married couple I've... There are a couple of others, but yeah. we're longer lived than some of the other We got it made, Bill. Mm -hmm. We have the nicest life. We live three miles from work. We get to take our vacations together. We work on a wonderful show, challenging. We really have a wonderful life. And it's the Indians like us. <laughs> week, yes, yes, and we get paid every week. <laughs> There's something yeah. to be said for steady work in show business. It's such an unusual uh, state of affairs. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard well, to, to get. That's yeah, right. but it's, it's open-ended. I mean, a show that never... That has never closes is really something. Mm -hmm. You guys have been going for a long time now. Speaking right? of not yeah. closing, who'd yes. have thought it? I know. Here you are. Three well, as far as cable news network goes, three years now. Congratulations. Wonderful. Last week was three years, and nobody said it could be done, and there we are. And we just celebrated our seventeenth. Seventeenth. We're in our eighteenth year. We're in our eighteenth year. Okay. And how many years have you married? Eight, almost Eight nine. Years, nine years. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Yeah. And you got a nightclub act that you're doing? Yes. When what things get slow, we can always <laughs> go out on the road. What do you do on that? <laughs> Nonsense. Lots of things that we don't get to do on daytime. I Funny play, things. Yeah. I play the violin and... Uh, Susan and takes her clothes Susan off. does a striptease behind me. <laughs> you know, I don't know that it's going on, and I think they're applauding me, and she... <laughs> They're applauding her. It's fun. What well, do you go touring around the country? The Wherever night? they'll ask. Yeah. Yeah. It's, well, great. Well, we hope to see you in that. We even played a bar mitzvah in Miami Beach one time. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was, was kind of really? desperate for employment, no. but oh, that was <laughs> a quick fun. turn around. <laughs> we've traveled around the country, and <laughs> we've even played in Germany last uh, October. Yeah, we played to Australians in Germany. 
you find mostly your soap opera fans come yes. see it. Yeah. Anybody. We played a car wash convention once. And there oh must God. be something a we had. Car have wash convention? Yes. That was with another a, show with one light. It was a strange <laughs> show because it had one light and it was on the side. And yeah. so we were facing this way, but the light was coming from this way. 1,400 people sitting there, but the light is over there. Yeah. But I'm when wise. I did the striptease, they brightened oh, right up. It was the hot wax job that they'd all been hoping for. No. <laughs> oh, we're going out on that one. <laughs> Thank you very much, Bill. It was nice to see you. We'll look for Airborne soon to be seen <laughs> somewhere. Privately. And when we come back, we're going to the Renaissance Pleasure Fair, which is nestled in the mountains north of L.A., so stay with us. People, the glove is up! Ah!